All right, what we got here, obviously one sensor pad. So we're gonna get to do that. That's gonna be fun. In the meantime, I wanna do a, couple, a little bit of maintenance. We're gonna take the plugs out, take the wastegates out, open them up and just to double check everything. So let's go ahead and pull those puppies off now. This is the top portion. You got your spring in here. And then the diaphragm, which is sitting in there. Usually where it, where it wears out, and I've had this happen to me a couple times, is you'll usually see on the sides here, because this rubber wears out, and you can see right through it. This one looks fine. Not the major. That's that's gonna eventually tear and uh, cause a CO2 leak or boost leak for me. So I need to go ahead and get new diaphragms coming for these just in case. But for now, for the immediate future, they'll hold, and I don't think that's gonna be. It our problem for building boost. off the wood blocks and on the scales we got everything set up ready to go uh, so let's hop in it the, the, the computer's on the screen's on right now so all we need to do is just hop in it find out what this thing weighs I have weighed this car before at the weight scale at the track over at Houston Raceway Park 3650 with me in it the reason we're doing this because we just finished adjusting our torque arm angle our pinion angle and measuring everything out I want to see what the percentage of weight is from the front to the back because that also makes a big difference it, it wouldn't have changed but we've never scaled the car before so it's it's handy to have that percentage so I'm gonna hop in it we're gonna find out what it truly weighs and also what the percentage is all my uh, safety gear the helmet is sitting right here next to me uh, so everything's in the car and we are at 36 looks like 3614 is what it's 3613 3614 is what it's going to register at which is actually 40 pounds 35 pounds lighter than what it says at the track and this is with me sitting in the car so it's still heavy 3600 pounds is still considered heavy con compared to some of the other f bodies out there okay so i added just a hair more fuel and we actually went up 10 pounds uh, we're sitting at pretty much a hundred percent fuel level. This is a little, probably a little on the heavier side than what I normally wanted at. Oh yeah, check that out. Some fresh rubber on there. And then this one, obviously it's got some passes under it. It also feels different. Um, this tire has been with us for, I think maybe six months now. I think this tire has just about had it, but we are going to hang on to it. Um, for when, when we do go back to the dyno, I'm going to swap these tires back on real quick so that we can just go ahead and waste them on the dyno and I don't ruin my new pair with his rat rod because while we have the scales, we're going to go ahead and get this freaking thing on the scales, find out what it weighs with him in and what the percentages are so we have that data before I give this back over to uh, my boys over there at Aldo Wells, Mexico Racing League. I feel like you keep saying almost, like it's always almost. Well, it's been like a year. I keep saying almost. More like two. <laughs> it has fired up and everything, and we have driven it to some extent, but I'm hoping that tonight after we scale it, we can take it out, drive it around a little bit, and uh, see if we can see what it's like. See what are, you, are you thinking you're gonna take this over Sunday or what? Or are you gonna? Um, that's the plan. That sounds like you're bailing already. No, I mean, it's already off. I just gotta go over everything. There's a lot of things to go over. 
That sounds like a bail to me. Sandy, we're gonna go to Starbucks. For what? So you can get your cappuccino. So, officially, I'm racing this truck over at Cletus and Cars. August 23rd, I think it's where it's at, here in Houston. Let me ask you first. Go ahead. Have you ever beaten me in anything that I own? No. What makes you think this is gonna you be You were a different? cheater on the diesel. That's cheat rolls. Those are you were cheating. Number two. What was Black Lightning? Black Lightning, the ZL6. It was cheating too. I was not cheating. You, you took a spark plug out of my <laughs> freaking truck. <laughs> you disconnect the spark plug wire. Okay. And then we're not even gonna talk about the bullet because it's a whole different animal. I mean, it's, How about, it's, yeah, I raced the bullet, even, huh? You can never get close to that. You were on that 443, right? The last time we... Yep. On like 10 pounds. Shut up. Anyways, I'm gonna line up against this rat rod at Cletus and Cars and just gonna freaking annihilate this thing because I want, I want to own it. As much work as I put into it, it belongs to me. Your soul is mine. Like fast forward a bunch of hours later. <laughs> Andy's jacking up the backs. So we can go ahead and put our scales on there. Everything's set to zero currently. So, just gonna put it on there and uh, see what she weighs. Where's it at now? <laughs> Where's it at? You haven't even sat in it. No. Trying to cheat the system here. Your seat's over there. I see your I'm parachute. <laughs> I see. I had to put a, another couple gallons because he didn't fill it up all the way. What do you think it weighs? Uh, 2,800. 2,850. 2,870. That's very light. Huh? That's really light. That's pretty light. Twin turbo. Yeah, Everything already like, twin turbo ice tank that has half water, really. I would probably say it's more like, what was it, 28 what? 2860. I would say it's probably 2880. Yeah, with a little more fuel. With a fuel and water. ice, me with the helmet. Yeah, maybe 2880. You might even, 20, you might 29 even, probably. You might even get to 2900. Yeah. That's Easy. Not bad. It's still under 3,000 pounds, bro. You would think that with no doors that it would be easy to get out of here in case that was like a fire or something. You got into, you just kind of rolled into the gas pedal just a little bit, you know? 100% of my gasket. <laughs> yeah, when you rolled into the gas pedal just a little bit right there, it, 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 it felt good. Yeah. All right, so that's it. We're done. I'm gonna get back home, get the bullet wrapped up for this Sunday, and this thing's almost ready, and that's it. That's it. Let's get it.